I'm not sure if I, I chose to be a school nurse, if the job kind of chose me. Um, I've been here for, I think this is my 13th year now. And I was working at the hospital and Joanne Tice called me and wanted to know if I was interested. Um, and I come in for an interview and I really didn't know exactly what school nurses did because um, we're kind of a, a hidden gem. Um, but I love it and I wouldn't trade it for the world. We see, we see anywhere between 40 and 60 kids a day. And from anywhere between giving medicine to helping with injuries, whatever, it just, it's a busy day. It's usually been very, very busy. I think the effect that I've had on students uh, is enable them to deal with their disease processes, to know that they aren't defined by uh, what their diagnosis may be. Several students that I give meds to on a daily basis and without them getting their meds here, they probably wouldn't get them. We have students, especially on Fridays, we give uh, food bags to so that they go home and they make sure that they have food to eat on the weekends. Um, and again, the hugs, we take care of them and love them. I think just knowing that I'm here makes them feel better and knowing that they can talk to me about things that they might not want to talk to their mom about or their teacher about that, you know, knowing that I'm here and that I'm used to dealing with weird things that that probably makes them feel a little bit better. Well, there is this little saying that they may not remember your name, but they remember how you made them feel. And that's what I try to do, uh, make them feel comfortable in here. I don't look at myself like a disciplinarian here at the school. Um, they're like if they even come to get a tooth pulled, I'm like, if it hurts, we stop. You don't come to the nurse to get hurt. She helps the hurts. So that's kind of how I look at that. I want everybody to know that I'm always here for them. Um, regardless of the situation, uh, we will uh, journey through it together. I can be the person they can come and talk to when they had, you know, a bad morning and they need to discuss it with somebody so that they feel better. Everyone that comes in the office, I try to help them with their problems. Do they need any resources? Do they need anything? Um, we, we try to help any way we can. We've had several um, incidences where it was a life or death situation. Um, last year at the junior high, I had to call an ambulance for a student. Um, and it probably, I don't know that it saved her life, but it sure made it better for her at the time. <laughs> It's been rewarding, especially the one time that I had a student come back six years after his diabetes diagnosis and tell me that I was the one that never gave up. I was the one that had faith. I was the one that taught him more about his disease process than anyone had before. I think just knowing that I make a difference in a kid's life or knowing that I've given them comfort, whether it's because they're just having a bad day or whether there's truly something wrong with them. Just being able to comfort someone and make them feel better, that's just, that's rewarding. I didn't realize that there were so many children in Harrison School District who were in need of food at home, clothing at home, um, and just a safe place to come, you know, to, if they had a bad morning or something, um, a rough night. I do like what I do. There are days that I go home when I'm sad at events that have happened and I don't like what I do. But the majority of the time I go home feeling like I've made a difference in a pediatric patient's life. Even though I'm working in a school setting, I feel like what a nurse has to offer to a school is valuable. And at the end of the day, if I know I've impacted somebody's life, hopefully in a positive way, um, then that right there is, is the most important thing in the world.